Hi, I'm the Casual Spaceman and welcome to my channel once again. I'm really glad to be back to making videos properly again after I had some technical difficulties. As some of you might know, I wasn't able to publish videos and also a few other things in life just got in the way a little bit. So I'm back with um, a clip of a video which comes from a much wider video um, that talks a lot about faking of the Apollo moon landings or the apparent faking of the moon landings. And in this clip, they're talking about trapeze wires that are supposedly used to fake the moon landings. In this video, I'm gonna explain what they think they see is something completely different. I'm also gonna to introduce to you again, that I've worked with before, another YouTuber, great creator by the name of One Minute Debunk. And he's gonna help me explain one or two other things as well. So without further ado, let's cue the music and let's get on with it. Well, the clip in question is posted by a, a content creator by the name of Joe Hogan, entitled Astronauts on Wires. And as you can see from the description, clear as day, you can see that the in this video that the astronauts were being suspended by wires. Well, Joe Hogan, and for my subscribers, I'm about to show you why that's not true. Well, let's go ahead and play a little bit of the video. Astronauts moving in slow motion is another hallmark of the Apollo TV footage. There is no evidence at all of any astronaut making a leap or a jump anywhere near a height commensurate with one sixth G possibilities. Just hold on a little compick and second there. What do you expect the astronauts to do? I mean, I'm not sure if you're actually aware, but the total weight of the astronaut suit, including the backpack with all the life support, is um, a little over 180 pounds. It might be one six gravity, but what do you expect them to do with that kind of weight? Do you expect them to leap over tall buildings like Superman? Come on. Tried and tested way of relieving weight from performers, or even flying an actor. Here is a sequence from one of our own productions. Excuse me, will I need a car? Oh, oh, yeah! Relax, Chris. We're only making a short journey. Okay, we're well putting aside that we know he's on a trapeze and this is a film and fake, obviously. But if you look at the image quality, you can clearly see, particularly around the man, that the quality is particularly poor. And you can see that he's on a trapeze and you can see it's CGI or using a green screen. But what people like him don't seem to remember, in not between 1969 and 72, during the Apollo missions, they didn't have CGI. It didn't exist. In fact, they didn't even have the technology or the know-how to fake the moon landings. And there's a video that I covered some time ago where uh, a filmmaker says as much. And I'll put a link to that video in the description below this video. To 1969, to the beginning of units. Of course, confirmation that wires were used is in the detail. Here in this Apollo 14 footage, you can see a ping. A momentary glint. And again, run slowly. And once more. There are other ex Well, this one's really easy to explain. Quite simply, you're seeing a reflection from the antenna on the backpack of the astronaut. And you can clearly see the antennas in these following images. And this really good graphic, which I think is an excellent demonstration of the makeup of the Apollo backpack and the light support system, and as you can see, the antenna at the top of the backpack. Examples too. This one is from Apollo 17 during the flag scene. You can see the ping at the top of the frame. Well, we've already covered the reflection from the antenna, but the error that they're actually pointing out at the top of the frame of what that normally is, I wasn't 100% sure. So this is once, and again, it lists the help of my good friend, One Minute Debunk, and he's gonna explain what he thinks it is. So, 1MD, take it away. 
Thanks, Casual. Let's look at this in detail. So what is this? With a stationary astronaut, camera and light source, it doesn't look like a wire, especially not if the wire is tight. It doesn't look like a lens effect from the antenna reflection either. The video clip has a couple of glitches, notably this small similar one and a giant tracking error here. Perhaps it's just an error. From what this clip shows, it's hard to tell. A good investigator would get more data. Luckily, the Apollo missions were somewhat notable, so that's easy to get. Here's a longer clip with every glitch highlighted. For as long as it can. In honor of all those people it wouldn't make sense to say that one glitch from this sea of glitches was a wire. There's no way someone can honestly make that determination with this quality of footage. Come on, it's a glitchy mess. Where did they transmit this from? The moon? Oh, wait, yeah, they did. Thank you 1MD for another great explanation. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Uh, so go, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, go to his channel, subscribe, and have a look at his videos. He does some great content, and just as he's done now, he debunks a lot of things all in under a minute. Anyway, let's play a little bit more of the video and see what else they've got to say. In this footage from Apollo 16, we have telltale evidence of a slightly floating or dangling effect at the jump salute location. It's as if the weight is being taken off the astronaut's feet just a second or so too soon. No, all I see is an astronaut with 180 pounds of spacesuit, including life support, on his back, jumping a little bit. I don't see them hanging. Do you? I don't know what he's watching. Compare that sequence with an obvious rehearsal rig. The dangling effect is very evident. And here again, from the same mission, Apollo 16, we have an astronaut who is about to get up. Come here. Okay, here we go. Let me give you a hand, he says. Look at it again. The astronaut is getting up with the wire taking the weight, relieving him of five-sixths of the Earth's gravity. Again, I don't really know what this guy is watching, because all I see is a fellow astronaut helping another astronaut. So if you see from this clip, he's actually pushing up against his buddy to get up. I just don't see what's so difficult to understand about this. A magic trick? No. Just the help of a wireman. This is a slow motion jump that would have been seen live on TV. And here it is at normal speed. The well-rehearsed, pre-recorded material was apparently slowed down by 50% when we saw it on TV. And yes, we've done the necessary work to establish that percentage. Well, that's the end of that clip. I just want to address the last point. He's trying to say that they actually slowed down the television pictures to make it look as if the gravity on the moon, the one-sixth gravity on the moon, look a bit more realistic. I'm pretty sure that's not true because I know for a fact that the uh, television pictures were actually broadcast at 10 frames per second. So in order to do that, they would have actually had to put it at a much quicker frame rate. And in those days, they just either didn't, either didn't have the technology or they didn't have the necessary means to transmit at those particular frame rates. I'll be glad to actually be corrected if anybody has got better knowledge on those things. And then please put it in the comments below this video and I'll be glad to hear more about it. Well, I think that's enough from me for today. I just want to thank my friend One Minute Debunk for the uh, clip in that, in that video once again. And also to apologise to him, this was a little bit of a long time coming. So again, apologies to you and I hope you like the video. If you like this video, please like below. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon and then select all. And you'll be notified when I upload more videos. With my friend at One Minute Debunk, the link to his channel is in the description below. Please visit his channel and subscribe. So that's all for me. Only leaves me to say, space is real. Thank you for watching.